One of the things I love about the Vita and the community is how passionate fans are at collecting games. Limited run games really establish themselves in the first place by selling collectible Vita games. A frequent discussion online is around what are the rarest and most valuable Vita games. With the help of avid Vita collector Spencer Presley, whose Twitter link you can find in the description, we've been researching into the most valuable Vita games. This is for standard edition games, as limited and collector's editions are inherently rare, but it's the standard versions that I was interested in looking into. These prices are averages of sales in the last few months or years. There are other games that almost made the list, but where they were only sold recently by limited run games for example, I didn't include them as prices tend to stabilise more over time. For example, Fata Morgana is quite expensive right now, but that may change over time. A lot of limited run games were selling for $70 or so before coming down to around $30 or $40. With the Vita's life coming to a close, these games and many others are likely only to increase in value, and we've already seen recently how Persona 4 Golden's price has gone up. So let's get into the top 10 most valuable Vita games. Number 10. Mary Skelter Nightmares This first person dungeon crawler is surprisingly hard to come by. The print run has not been revealed, but a new copy goes for around $80. Number 9. Dragon Quest Builders Dragon Quest Builders only got a physical release in Asia, and that included an English print. It's a brilliant game, and the English version didn't seem to get additional print runs. You can find this for around $90. Number 8. A Rose in the Twilight the atmospheric puzzle game Rose in the Twilight seemed to have a very small print run from NIS. It sells these days for around $90 for the standard version. Number 7. I Am The Hero I Am The Hero is a 2D old school brawler. It only had a print run of 1300 and was sold by East Asia Soft. It's a good game and with the small print run the demand is still pretty high. It sells for around $100. Number 6. Stranger's Wrath PSX Cover This is the first game Limited Run Games had a separate cover for a title, which was sold at a gaming event. There were only a thousand copies with this exclusive cover, which resulted in it being pretty valuable. It used to sell for more, but now the price is around $100. Number 5. Breach and Clear Limited Run Games' first title is still one of their most valuable. With a print run of only 1,500, it's very hard to come by, especially new and sealed. It sells for around $150. Number 4. Epic Mickey 2 Although there was a European release which is much easier to track down, the ESRB version is pretty rare. A pre-owned copy can cost around $80, but new, it goes for around $170. Number 3. AW Phoenix Festa. So into the top 3, and these games are very hard to come by, and you'll find that people selling them online are very aware of this. AW Phoenix Festa is another Asia English release. This one sells for around $170. Number 2. Oddworld New and Tasty. Oddworld New and Tasty is another limited run games release. It had a bigger print run than some of the other games on the list, with 2,500 copies printed, but it's such a fan favourite in the series that the demand is still very high. A new copy can go for as much as $175. Number 1. R and the Surge Plus The most valuable standard edition is really hard to track down. There have not been many sales even in the last year. It was only available on NIS's US store, which made it hard for people outside of North America to grab a copy. It's been selling for around $230 just for the standard game. The sealed limited edition of this game will go for a lot more. So guys, are you an avid Vita collector? And do you have any of the games on the list? And what's the most valuable game in your collection? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.